Hi angels, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. And um, oh, I've got dog hair in my mouth. I just gave little mole moles a little kiss and she uh, put loads of fluff in my mouth. But yeah, anyway, today it's really horrible outside. I don't know where you are in the world, but right here in Norfolk, it is pouring down with rain. I just literally just popped to the shops to get some things for this video. So um, yeah, I got a bit wet, hence why my hair is a mess. Um, are we boring you there? Are we boring you? Say hello. Say hello. She's kind of looking at the camera to say, what is everyone looking at me for? Um, oh, I love her so much. She's just, she's so cute and adorable. Look how she sits on my lap. She's so cute and chunky. Look at that belly. But yeah, today I managed to get some things for this video. So as you can tell by the title of this video, today I'm going to show you some Christmas goodies that you can pick up in Lidl's. And there's also a, thing, a few things that you can pick up in Aldi's. I'm currently in our spare room just because this is where I've hid like all the goodies. Because if not, Mickey would literally just like eat everything. But yeah. I just feel like at Christmas time, when it comes to like, you know, paying out for everything like presents, wrap and paper, decorations, drinks, food, just costs so much money. But I absolutely love Lidl's and Aldi's for like food shopping, especially around Christmas time, because their Christmas goodies and like Christmas puddings, mince pies, or their chocolates are just really good value for money and they taste absolutely fantastic. And also, they look really nice too. Now, I will admit, a lot of this stuff is actually going to be for a gift for someone because I'm going to be making them up like a little hamper but um me <laughs> me and mickey this year are gonna be trying like well we're gonna try and be good with like all the chocolates and stuff we're not gonna buy too much because we do go overboard and we're going on holiday like for new year's and we don't want to be sitting there like looking like father christmas still like in our bikinis well mickey won't be wearing a bikini but i will but i don't want to be sitting there with like a big old like belly full of christmas food still so yeah most of this is for other people rather than me and mickey but yeah let's get on with this video okay so the first thing i'm going to show you are these biscuits so me and mickey got these last year these come from Lidl's, and oh my goodness they are so nice like me and mickey used to get like i don't know was it fox's like biscuit selection to be honest you get hardly anything in there and to be honest they're a bit corny they're just like things that you can pick up like in the supermarket like any time of the year but these ones they're biscuit assortments you get 14 luxurious varieties in the box there's 500 grams oh they honestly they are so yummy so they're all like like proper buttery biscuits and is my camera unfocused can you see me all right there you go and yeah oh and some of them are like got like layers of thick chocolate on Oh, I absolutely love these. Oh, look, it says on the back what you get in there. So you get like biscuit fingers, dark chocolate night, Neapolitan, chocolate bloom, which is like dark chocolate and coconut. Oh, white chocolate night, cappuccino, which Mickey doesn't like, but I absolutely love coffee flavored things. So you know who's gonna be eating all them. But these I think were three pound 49. And I just think that's really good. Like this box feels really heavy. And I know that you do get quite a lot in here. If I can remember from last year. Oh, they are honestly, they're so amazing. This, what I'm going to show you next, come from Aldi. So Mickey had his heart set on a Christmas pudding from Marks and Spencers. And he said he liked it because it had like oranges all on the outside. He absolutely loved orange like flavoured things. And the one in Marks and Spencers was like £12. And I think it was just Prosecco flavoured. But I picked this one up and I'm sure this was £8 from Aldi. It serves eight and it's a golden topped Christmas pudding with edible gold glitter. It says our Christmas puddings packed with plump juicy vine fruits, almonds, pecans, the orange liqueur on, brandy, port, candied orange slices, cherries, soaked in orange liqueur, crunchy almonds decorated on the top and covered in gold shimmer. Oh, this just looks so, so yummy. Like comment down below if you love Christmas puddings. Like I feel like it's one of them kind of like products like Marmite, you either love it or hate it. I absolutely love Christmas puddings, but I like to have mine with like thick double cream on. Mm, lovely, so sickly absolutely love christmas puddings so i picked up some quality streets from aldi i feel like wherever you go they're always like four pounds now and they're always 
sometimes like on offer like in places like the supermarkets like two for 10 quid or something but like if you pick them up in aldi they're all like 3.99 so i think they have like celebrations i haven't seen the roses yet but this year i just went for quality streets i'm gonna pick up some celebrations next week but they're all 3.99 and like aldi's and Lidl's. the annoying thing is that i found is i remember when like i was a little girl that quality streets and roses like they're tin they used to be in like tins they were like massive and now they're just getting smaller and smaller i feel like you always gotta have a couple of them up like the table for christmas so you can nibble on or while you're playing like board games i then from i think the rest of this stuff no in this thing i need to show you this is the last thing from aldi and this is like their specially selected hot chocolate this is for one of mickey's stocking fillers this is actually salted caramel flavored hot chocolate like he absolutely loves salted caramel and i just thought like he's gonna really love that because like i said in one of my other videos we're really into hot chocolate at the moment so i'm gonna pop that over there with his presents so the next things I'm now all going to show you all come, all come, all come from Lidl's. I really can't remember the prices, but I do believe that everything was pretty much under three pounds. So there you go. I picked up these lemon fondant creams. I just thought a lot of this stuff in here is quite sickly flavours. And I thought these might be quite nice and refreshing. So I don't know how many get in a packet, but their lemon fondant's covered in like chocolate. And I feel like you get quite a lot. I'm sure these were £1.69. These were on offer, I think, for £1.49, and this is peanut brittle. So, I absolutely love peanut brittle, but I swear, honestly, it feels like your teeth are going to break when you eat this. But, yeah, look at the packaging. I just think they look really nice for, like, little gifts for people or stocking fillers. This is this box, I feel like, really, really nice. I feel like this is something that you probably would see, like, in Marks and Spencers. So, I think... These were like 2 99 and this is double chocolate orange all butter cookies. Oh, oh it sounds so nice. I was going to see if I can open it, but it's all sealed up. But oh, it sounds so yummy. Honestly, I'm actually quite surprised that I probably wouldn't end up like nibbling on some of these things. Um, yeah, the next thing I'm going to show you, I feel like you can pick these up like pretty much anywhere. But I feel like you've always got to have like a hollow chocolate Santa around Christmas time. I don't know if I mentioned this in one of my other videos, but I always feel like you definitely need one of these around Christmas time. I actually bought one of these today for myself, but this is a gift for someone with all their other like little goodies. I didn't just get them like a chocolate Santa. But these, um, you pretty much can pick these up in most shops for like a pound. And yeah, it's just a chocolate flavored Santa. I feel like you definitely like I keep repeating, you've definitely got to have one of them on Christmas. So if you haven't got one, you need to go and get one. In Aldi, though, they do do like little reindeers as well. So if you don't really want a Santa, you can pick up yourself a reindeer. Um, then they do like, they have different flavours, I think, of these chocolate bars. They have raspberry one. And this one is a dark chocolate with candied oranges. So I picked one of these up for Mickey because like I said earlier, he absolutely loves chocolate orange flavoured things. And I picked one of these up for another gift for someone. And these are one pound 69 i think i'm sure that if you pick up a lot of this stuff closer to christmas they do knock quite a lot off but i like to get it now so i know like i've got it i've got it out of the way and i don't have to worry about rushing around closer to christmas especially if like they're out of stock of everything which normally happens and then i picked up these chocolate stirrers which oh i've always want to try some of these i don't know why i didn't buy any for myself really but yeah you just like dip these in like hot chocolate or something and then you just oh they melt and mm, i've seen like these before and they just look so yummy so these were £1.49 and you get two in a pack to be honest i don't think that's that bad at first it was like £1.49 for just two big cubes of chocolate but i have seen like singly ones of singly single ones of these in shops for like a pound anyway so it's not too bad i then also picked up this cute little christmas pudding look how cute this is so not christmas pudding fruit cake i feel like you do have to have a little bit of fruit cake around christmas time too i feel like you just need to have loads of bad goodies around christmas time okay i feel like i'm gonna say that about everything like you need to have this around christmas definitely but yeah i picked this up for a gift for someone and it serves and it serves too, it's just like a cute little um, fruit cake. And that was £2.49, which was quite expensive, seeing as you could get a bigger one, which was around £3. But this is going to fit nicely in their hamper. And I just thought that's really cute because it's tiny. 
And then I picked up some caramel and Cornish sea salt butter fudge. These were reduced to £1.49. I do believe they have other flavours and I think they were a little bit more expensive though and actually this reminds me of Aldi today I saw that they had like luxury I can never say that word luxurious like marshmallows but loads of different flavors and I saw espresso flavor and I was like should I get them but they were like 2 99 and they were like a little packet but I do think like with the flavors that they had you wouldn't need a big packet because you'd probably end up being sick if you eat the whole packet but if you love marshmallows they do loads of different flavoured like marshmallows in Aldi's at the moment. Um, I then got some of these creamy chocolate milk cho creamy chocolate and milk chocolate almonds. So yeah, I just thought these are really nice and something a little bit different because a lot of things have got quite chocolatey, but these have got like nuts in, so it's like a little bit different, but you still do have like the chocolate on them as well because you can't have enough chocolate around Christmas time again, yeah? And um you always get these like in Aldi's and Lidl's like every time when it's Christmas they have loads of these but they have loads of different flavours and these are like marzipan logs and I got um, the rum and raisin flavour and I think they had pineapple one but I wasn't quite sure if that was going to taste nice or not so I went for the rum and raisin just because I absolutely love rum and raisin and the person who it's for I know that they love rum and raisin too so I thought I'd go with that one. Uh, I then got some of these sea salted caramel truffles. They did have a price for these on like the shelves. I think these were about three pounds though. And this is like their deluxe one. So they did have ones which were cheaper, but I just love the packaging on this one. And I also just love like the flavor of it. I just thought sea salted caramel truffles. Mm -hmm. Sounds so good. And it has like loads of tissue inside. And then you, there you go. You can see like the truffles in there, but you can't really smell them because they're all wrapped up but I'm sure they're going to smell gorgeous but they do do loads of other different flavours like in packets like this which are much much cheaper so but like I said I just like the look of this packaging so I've got a couple more things to show you so I've got these apple and cinnamon popcorn so it's like apple and cinnamon gourmet toffee popcorn fruity cinnamon flavours it says and yeah they did um, also like a gingerbread one but I'm actually going to give the hot chocolate that I got in my Vlogmas video yesterday. I got some gingerbread hot chocolate if you haven't watched that video, but I will link it above. But I'm going to give that to that person. So I went for this flavour instead. So then they've got like a mixture of like flavours, I feel. Okay, the next, well, should I say the next thing? The last thing I'm going to show you, which Lidl and Aldi do like all year round. And these are similar to like that brand and I can't remember what the brand is called but I feel like they're always quite expensive but these I think were £2.49 and they're just Belgium chocolate seashells I don't know if you remember the brand but it begins with like G is it like Gillian or something or Jill, 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 I, don't know, I don't know but you probably know what I'm talking about if you've seen them before but um yeah but the ones in Aldi and Lidl I just think oh they taste much much better they're much much cheaper and I feel like you get more in the packet as well so I picked them up for them too. I need to grab some of these, I feel like, for myself because I absolutely love the love. Blah, 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 blah. I can't talk today. I'm just so excited about all the Christmas food I've got. But yeah, I absolutely love these. Oh, I definitely need to go and get myself a packet of them. But yeah, that is my little Aldi and little Christmas food haul. I hope it kind of gave you some kind of ideas of prices of like Christmas treats and that you can pick up in Lidl's and Aldi's. And also it might give you some ideas for some stocking fillers or some gifts, or you might do the same thing as me and make a little Christmas hamper. In the Lidl's near mine, which is in Wyndham, they actually were selling the baskets with like all the filling in separately for like two pounds so that's quite handy because you can pick up the basket and then like all the goodies at the same time so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video it's quite different than what i would normally do but i thought i'd just show you some of the christmas goodies i've got and yeah if you're new to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and if you really did enjoy this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and i'll see you guys tomorrow love you all bye